Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Roadkill uh, from Uncorked. It's an action movie with a bit of a twist and a super hot chick. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 13. Available on Amazon.com. Don't forget Kindle Unlimited is free. Why do you keep forgetting Kindle Unlimited is free? Anyhow, um, so this hot chick out in the middle of nowhere picks up this drifter, <laughs> right? So you get the trope, the, the movie trope. And she says to him, you're not a maniac, are you? And at first I'm like, could this movie be that stupid? And it turns out it's not stupid at all. Because there's a murderer running around lo loose, but you think it's him. But guess who it is? It's the girl. She's out of her ever-loving, beautiful mind. And she literally stomps this dude to death in a bathroom. Just stomps him to death. She, like, puts the moves on him, gets him on the floor, and just stomps him until he's dead. And so she's the psychopath. Look, there she is, stomping that dude to death. The other guy, he just, he's a hitchhiker. He just... He's the actual innocent one. So it's a great kind of flip on the old story. Um, and then uh, I think she sets him up here in a scene. I, I don't know if she, he, I guess he does have the knife. Or he is forced to grab the knife in some way. But I don't think he's the killer at all. I think he's trying to kill her after... He realizes what a psycho she is. I think she kills a whole um, police station full of dudes. <clears throat> January 5th. And there's some sort of Terminator-like shots of her coming out. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, right? Hot Terminator check? Come on. You, you gotta love it. Um, she's just smoking. She's a total smoke show, but she's out of her damn mind. Fantastic. Sign me up. January 5th. Uh, this will probably go right to streaming. But this is a good B-movie. This is the way B-movies sh should be. Okay, so number one, hot chicks. Put the damn hot chicks back in the movies, please. Just do it. Uh, number two, bit of a clever twist. Instead of the lonely old drifter who murders people, you got super hot smoking lollipop licking hot chick. So, uh, this will probably be pretty straightforward. First act, um, there's a murderer on the loose and everybody's looking for her. But they assume, wrongly, it's probably a dude because she keeps picking guys up and I guess she keeps blame, getting them blamed for the murders. So here she is trying to lure like this dude in. I don't know what, what she's holding there. Um, so she picks up the innocent hitchhiker. And uh, she's still killing dudes along the way. But he becomes kind of the protagonist is my guess. So they're in a restaurant. She murders a dude in the bathroom. Cops are after her, and he's trapped in the car with her, but she plays innocent, right? So they arrest him. You know, maybe he does something to try to get at her, to stop her, and then the cops misinterpret that as like, oh, you're the, you're the violent one, because she's just so hot. And this is, this is the power of young, beautiful women, and they're using it in the movie third act it's, it's kind of a back and forth i think she ends up killing everybody in the police station but he escapes and then they end up in a car chase where he steals her muscle car which she shows up at i think she killed the guy for and then um you know it becomes a, a a duel to the death between him and her the ending it could be a couple of different things now if they wanted to franchise this movie they want her to survive somehow so she would have to get horribly injured and knocked out and caught, right? So you could have a sequel. 
That would be one ending. Another ending, he, the man, kills her. Uh, they don't even, he doesn't even have a line of dialogue in this thing. Uh, <laughs> so, the man kills her in a, you know, back and forth, because he has no choice. He's totally out of her mind. And that's the end of the movie. Or he kills her, justifiably, but nobody sees it, and then he's arrested for her murder and goes to prison. And becomes the, the, the you know, the drifter that he didn't want to be. Maybe he just got out of prison. And he, you know, he has no choice but to kill her to survive, but then goes back to prison. That would be a good horror movie ending. Uh, of course, the ending you'll probably never see, which could be amazing, is that she does eventually kill him. And then goes on to kill more people. And she's just kind of unstoppable. And then it all starts over again. Like, she manages to kill him in such a way that he's blamed for all the previous murders. And now she, the cycle repeats. I kind of am leaning towards she dies. But maybe not. Or dies in such a way that it's questionable. Or maybe they both die. Again, that's a long shot. But in a low-budget movie like this, it's a little bit up in the air. Love the name, of course, Roadkill. Book 8 of the Pineys is called The Roadkill Piney. Love it. Love it. Uh, let's see if there's a write-up. No, but it's in theaters January 6th. So this is a good January release. It's winter time. Uh, this is where they dump movies they don't think they're going to do very well or they don't have much of a chance. See... This is not necessarily a bad movie. It's a movie probably without a lot of money to advertise. So hopefully if they get a, a theatrical release, people like it, and the momentum builds to keep it in more theaters. Like, it does so well in a few theaters. They go, ooh, this is doing pretty good. Let's give it a wider release. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, lead girl. <laughs> Pretty hot. See, you can kind of overlook this in this kind of horror movie because guys will drop their guard around a chick this hot. Yeah. And they picked a really hot chick. Yeah. Sometimes they do this and the chick is pretty hot, but it's not like smoking hot. She is pretty well put together, I'll say. And uh, she's doing all the little hot chick things. She's wearing the belly shirt. She's licking lollipops. She's being, like, overtly sexual. So, yeah, I think you got a winner here. I think, at the very least, this will be uh, this will do very well on streaming. It'll be a bit of a cult classic. And then, who knows? Maybe you could do it again. With uh, if, she, if she dies in it, uh, you could do it some other way by making it her sister or something like that. Tie it into her. Or just do it again. Just do it again with a different character. That's another way to do these kinds of movies. You call it Roadkill 2. And it's just another hot chick. But then maybe you put a twist on it. Maybe she's not a psychopath. Maybe she's avenging someone. You know. Something like that. Roadkill kind of maybe is an indication of how she's going to die at the end. Maybe she gets hit by a car. So. But yeah. I, I like... This is like old school B movie stuff. Upvote. Upvote it, I say. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joe. Check us check us out on Odyssey, Bitchute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I'll say, take it. It's Christmas this week. What do you think I'm doing? Uh, I'm going to be on TV on the 21st on RVN TV, which I'm not sure... I'm not sure if that's on cable because I don't have cable. I'm going to have to check into that, see where it airs. And I'm not sure when it airs, but it'll definitely be on the internet, so I'll post links. But I'm being interviewed on Thursday, so I'm very excited about that. And then uh, Christmas. Christmas is a coming. All right, we'll see you in the next one.